Breaking health news tonight. For the first time, the FDA has given full approval to a drug that slows the progression of Alzheimer's. More than 6 million Americans are living with the disease. CBS News chief medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook shows us how the long-awaited drug impacts the brain. I'll be here. Today's approval of lecanemab is a step forward for a disease that has been largely untreatable. Alzheimer's researcher Dr. Sam Gandhi consults for ASI, the maker of lecanemab, but does not benefit financially from drug sales. Lecanemab is the first consistently effective disease-modifying therapy for Alzheimer's disease, so I think that qualifies it as a game-changer. In Alzheimer's patients, amyloid proteins form plaques in the brain which interrupt normal communication between nerve cells, leading to cognitive decline. Lecanemab is an antibody that removes existing plaques and prevents new ones from forming. Does this drug actually delay the decline in cognitive function? It slows the decline by about 27 percent. And what does that translate to in months? Uh, about six months. That benefit was seen over 18 months in a clinical trial of patients with early Alzheimer's. I think within a six-month period, lots of important things happen within families, births, deaths, uh, weddings. Lecanemab is given intravenously, costs more than $26,000 a year, and will be covered by Medicare. Researchers say it's not a cure and cannot restore memories. Still, for patients like 79-year-old Susie Mitchell, the drug is providing something that's hard to quantify, hope. I want to maintain a good life. I do not wish to be dependent for the rest of my life. Serious side effects included bleeding in the brain, usually without symptoms, but something to be carefully monitored. Trials are underway treating patients who have evidence of amyloid on screening blood and brain scans, but no symptoms yet. Jerika, imagine if we could actually prevent Alzheimer's rather than waiting for the devastating symptoms to appear. Yeah, good news for a lot of families out there. Thank you, John.